Crittlington, get the animal rescue uniform on. Oh, no. Did you manage to get all those pizzas in your oven, Hannah? Just about. It was a bit of a squeeze. Great! I'll call Granddad and tell him they're nearly done. <gasps> Don't call Granddad, James. Call Fireman Sam. <laughs> Two oven fires have broken out at the Whole Fish Cafe. Two oven fires have broken out at the Whole Fish Cafe. Penny, you and Arnold go in Venus. We'll take Jupiter. Roger that, that Sam. Sam. Shut off the electricity. Penny, you put out the fire upstairs. Roger that, Sam. Power off, Sam. I got out of my animal rescue uniform. I'm ready to fight the fire. I'm sorry, Elvis. It's too late. The fire's out. Oh. Wait. It's not too late. What is it, Hannah? I put lots of pizzas in our oven and turned it up really high. Oh, no. That might be on fire, too. Ah! I'm on my way. Stop! That's not how you dribble. This is how you dribble. Uh, to me, sir. I'm free, Station Officer Steele. I've got this all under control. Oh! Goal! Uh, now, Elvis. Watch a carefully, Norman, and you'll be a master chef in no time. I don't want to be a master chef. I want to watch the football. First, we make a nice and neat circle of bellissimo dough, like this. Next, a nice a big dollop of tasty tomato sauce. Oh! Ooh. Uh. And then, a beautiful big handful of mouth-watering mozzarella. Finished! And now I'm free to watch the match. Oh, oh. I hate making pizza. Oh, Sam, over here. Oh, I'm not supposed to do that, am I? No! No, you're not, Elvis. Ugh. Penalty kick to Pumpty Panda United. Get ready for the penalty kick of the century. Oh, oh. Stop. Watch and learn from the professional. This is how to kick a penalty shot. Whoa! Where? No! Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It's an own goal. Yes! Goal! Goal? Forget about the football, Norman. Just be careful with the... What? Food. <laughs> <laughs> Mom! 
Mamma mia! What have you done? I'm so sorry. I'll clean up this mess. You take the pepperoni pizza out of the oven and take it to Ben at the key. Okay, Bella. Oh, it's not fair. I'm missing the match and all because of this silly pizza. Now this is how you attack. And this is how you defend. Well, there's nothing for us to do here. We might as well all go home. And this is how you scissor kick. Oof. Ooh, my back. It's his big moment. Oh, oh dear. Don't worry, Bradwell. I can do it. I'll save the froggy fantasy. Show, not you! But James hasn't turned up! It, oh, stupid flippers in it! Voila! Me water lilies! Me Aaron! Me scenery! We'd better call Fireman Sam! The Lido. The froggy fantasy has burst into flames. There's a fire at the Lido. The froggy fantasy has burst into flames. We'll meet you there, Arnold. We'll drive Venus and Jupiter down. That won't be quick enough. Tom, you'll need to winch me up. Right away, Sam. To the Lido! James? James! Oh, no! Here comes Tom! And Fireman Sam! Stand back, everyone! Sam, we can't find James. He didn't do his froggy finale and he's... He's not... locked in the changing rooms! What? How did that happen? I wanted to be the star of the show, so I glued the door shut! I'm really sorry, Fireman Sam. I didn't know there was going to be a fire. Never mind that now, Norman. We need to rescue him, and we haven't got any fire engines here. Oh, no. What have I done? Tom, I've got a plan. I need you back here right now. I'm heading for the changing rooms. They're not on fire yet, but they soon will be. Are you ready? Nearly, Sam. Just loading up. It's all right, James. Stand back. Uncle Sam! I got you. Don't worry. Tom, are you ready? We're there, Sam. Elvis. OK, Tom. <laughs> I've got it all under control. We're safe, everyone, but the fire's still burning. Tom, more water. We'll use the hoses, too. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. The battery's dying. You did remember to charge the Submaster power pack, didn't you, Dad? Oh, well, I, I did, but then I needed to plug in my cappuccino maker and Mum's curly tongs. Uh... I'll take that as a no, then. My day! My day! My day! Uh, hang on, Dad! I'm going to call Fireman Sam! Joe Sparks is trapped at the bottom of the ocean in a submarine that's run out of power. Joe Sparks is trapped at the bottom of the ocean in a submarine that's run out of power! Coordinate Sam. He's just off Ponty Pandy Island.
she's in trouble, Sam. She's got her foot stuck. What are we going to do? We haven't got time to go back and get more diving gear. I'm going in. fun as I thought it would be. You think? Your room is totally wrecked and stinks of fish. Maybe you need to get him into some water. The Ponty Pandy pool is nearby. We could take him there. Now! How are we going to get him into the swimming pool without anybody seeing him? What am I going to do with all these boxes? Now, Elvis, I think it might be better if you filled out the hydrant forms this time. OK, Sam. That way, I won't think about that poor, lost, little, waddly penguin. Pressure at 1.7 bar, Elvis. That's all you need to put down, Elvis. 1.7. Elvis! <gasps> what are you doing? Oh, uh, I thought I'd do a missing poster of the penguin. In case anyone sees him. I'm thinking I'll just remember the 1.7 thing, Sam. Probably a good idea, Penny. Right then, Mr Penguin. Time for you to get out and enjoy sausages. <gasps> sausages? There are sausages in this box. <gasps> we took the wrong box. So where is Mr Penguin? So what's it to be? Rainy day in Rill. Or Ocean Breeze over Cardiff. Oh, I'll use them both. I'll just unpack that box. Then I can go and stuff Trevor's peppers. I wonder what's in this one. Oh! Oh, no! My whiffy candles! Oh, no! Fire! Oh, oh! The door's blocked. Too many boxes. I need to go upstairs. Oh, dear. I've never carried a penguin upstairs before. But I suppose it's the first time for everything. Oh, oh, oh. I will enjoy the meal with Dillis. I will enjoy the meal with Dillis. Oh, why did I say yes? She'll only do those stuffed peppers again. Oh, dear. Help! I think I'd better call Fireman Sam. You're back. How did it go? Oh, we didn't find one. What? A fire hydrant? No, a waddly penguin. Lion, jump! It's easy, you silly cat. Look at the. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 where am I? I'm the worst circus ever. Let's go. If you leave now, you'll miss the spectacular finale. What is the spectacular finale? Uh, um, um, you'll see. That's more like it. Wait till you see it all lit up. Nothing like recycled Christmas lights to brighten up a model village. <laughs> Oh, no. Fire at the flats! It's OK, sir. I've got this under control. My poor, innocent village. Behold my spectacular circus sheep! Now this is entertaining. Wait till you see them jump the trembling tower of crockery! Jump, my woolly wonders! <laughs> Shoo, 
sheep! You haven't paid for that! Oh, I think I'd better call for him and Sam. There is a flock of sheep stampeding all over Ponty Pandy. There's a flock of sheep stampeding all over Ponty Pandy. Sounds like they're heading this way, sir. <gasps> you, my model village. We'll need to act fast and set up a blockade. Right, we'll need Arnold, Ellie and Elvis to bring all the vehicles down. Then we can block off this street, this street, and this street while we round up the sheep along here. Roger that, Sam. We'll be needing our animal rescue uniforms. Time for plan B. Roger that, Sam. Faster, Ben. Look out for the ice. Sam, Titan can't get past the ice. Roger that, Penny. Tom, are you there? We're going to need Wallaby One. On the line. I don't like out of control trains. That are on fire. Do something, Normaxo! Okay. Um, Normaxo will phone Mom. I'll call my alien buddies to fly in and rescue us on my interstellar communication device. That's your shoe, Norm. Thank you. That's Ruby. Norm, this isn't Norm. time. To... Shh, I'm on a call. Flyers above the train top. No worries, Sam. A UFO! UFO! Oh, aliens! Oh, Norman? Shh, I'm hiding from the aliens! Sorry, Sam. We'll have to head back to the rescue centre till this blizzard blows over. There's just too much snow. That's it. Snow! Drop me off here, Tom. Nice one, Sam. Totally epic. <gasps> it's an alien on the road. What do you think? It's amazing. I'm quite impressed, actually. Great, eh? Big and wild. Wild enough for the, the wild, wild men, men of Ponty Penny. <laughs> we should get a photo. Great idea, Mandy. Everyone gather together in front of the bear. Just wait till the wild men of Newtown see this. Shuffle back, everyone. Right, that's more like it. Now, everyone say, Grrr. Grrr. What 
the Grizzlies? We better call Fireman Sam. We can't. The radio is in the tent. I'll run to the rescue center and call for help. Trevor and I'll get everyone to safety. Come on, kids. Oh, I sure hope that fire doesn't spread to the forest. James, you've completed the Fireman's Arm Challenge! Hooray! Oh. Now, I just need to finish this. We're back! Oh. Oh. Uncle Sam, I spotted something else, but it's not in the house. What is it, James? There's a fire on the mountain! That's where the pioneers are. I'd better call the station. There's a fire on Ponty Pandy Mountain. There's a fire on Ponty Pandy Mountain! The forest trails are too small for Jupiter. We'll need to take Venus. Sing my songs till I think I'll burst But I never forget the time of I'm on first I love to rock and I love to swing But the thing I love best is when that fire bell rings A ding a ding a ding a ding just one more verse Everybody knows the time of I am on first Norman Price are on an inflatable bouncy castle that's heading out to sea. Castle heading north, northwest, sir. Roger that, Ben. This is all your fault, Norman Price. We'll be fine, Mandy. This thing is full of air, so how can it sink? Oh, no, not you again. Shoot, shoot. Right, we should have waited. Sorry, Mike. Well, as long as you've learned your lesson, remember, safety always comes first. I'm just pleased you're both okay. And we even saved the bouncy castle. Oh, 
<sighs> now I'll have to fix it and blow it up all over again. Thank you, Norman. Uh, when it's ready, Mike, can I have the first bounce? And if you're a cowboy, you have to herd cattle. Excellent loop, Firefighter Morris. Nice turn, Firefighter McKinley. Ooh, and, and you have to say things like, round them up, partner. <laughs> and and yee-haw! we live in Party Penny, not the Wild West. You are never going to have to lasso anything here. Stop! Uh, there is no reason to become alarmed, children. Uh, by the way, does anyone know how to drive a bus? Ah! I can't keep up. Time to call the fireman. Mrs. Chen is driving a bus full of children and it can't stop. Mrs. Chen is driving a bus full of children, and it can't stop. Penny, you and Elvis go in Phoenix. I'll take Mercury. Roger, Roger that, Sam. There. Now everyone in Ponty Pandy can come and get their healthy food. This way! No, this way! No, that way! No, that way! I think we might need some new toffee. Ah, and a new pan. Wow, Sarah, that's amazing. What's amazing? Well, thanks. I made it. So, who's ready to play one of my games? Yeah! Anything but uh, make a mummy. But, so this game is called In the Tail on the Spooky Cat. Can anyone else smell burning? My house! My box! Ah, this is so nice and peaceful. We have to call Fireman Sam. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Scanning area. Kitchen is clear. Station Officer Steele has finally given up on the toffee apples. Yeah, he's just there, Elvis. Oh. Ah. Uh. Oh! There is a fire at a children's party at the Holfish Cafe. There's a fire at a children's party at the Whole Fish Cafe. The fire's getting worse. Everyone, lie down on the floor. Get as low as you can. 
can. Come on, let's do as Penny says. The door is blocked and the children are trapped in the back. Elvis, you take the hose and I'll get the crowbar. Sam, air 100%. Ready, Elvis. Ready, Sam. Air 100%. We're floating away. Only one thing for it. <coughs> What's that? That's Norman and Derek. Oh, dear. Sam, help! We can't get back! Grab hold of the end! Oh, thanks, Fireman Sam. Thank you. You two need to be a bit more careful. Sorry, Sam. Uncle Sam, look over there! Oh, no. We have to deal with that before it spreads. What? Where are the beaters? The what? The floppy shovels. You see, the thing is, we use them as paddles. Last time we saw them, they were floating off down the river. It was all Norman's fault. I don't care whose fault it was. If we can't beat out that fire, it's going to spread fast. No broken bones. It's just badly bruised. Thank goodness for that. What on earth has been going on here? We've been getting fit. Well, I hope you had a warm-up before you started. Well, I... And built up slowly. <gasps> There's a woodland fire near the mill. There's a woodland fire near the mill. Hold on! Where do you think you lot are going? There's no way this crew is fit for duty. But there's a fire in the woods. I'm afraid, sir, this is down to us. What? Oh, oh, yes, us. <laughs> yes. I, I'll just get my helmet. Stay well back, everyone. Help will be here very soon. Where's the rest of the crew, sir? I'll explain later, Sam, but we're here now and ready for action. OK, then. Let's get this fire under control. You two take the hoses. I'll start beating. This could have been easily dealt with if you boys hadn't lost those floppy shovels. Sorry, Fireman Sam. In this hot weather, it's vital to be able to put out small fires quickly before they spread. I should never have left them alone with that cooking stove. That's true, Trevor. Oh. Chasing looks incredible. Are you getting all this, Sarah? Yes, Norman. Aim for that wall of empty boxes, James. This is the bit where you have a spectacular crush. Oh, I can't do it. Oh. It's okay, James. I'll call Fireman Sam. This McChin fellow is top-notch. <laughs> ah, reminds me of a young me. That's James in a runaway go-kart heading for the pier. James Jones is in a runaway go-kart heading towards the pier. That's what I said. I'll be doing all the stunts myself. Perhaps these stunts are getting a bit too spectacular, Norman? 
I'm sorry, Sam, but don't worry. We've only got one more scene to shoot, and it doesn't involve any danger. I promise. Okay, Norman. Well, good luck. Jake Pond, Super Spy, scene 57. Showdown in the villain's lair. Action! <laughs> ah! ah, Mr. Pond. I've been expecting you. Glove fingers, my old foe. <gasps> it's a trap. Number two, tie up the prisoner. And cut. Tie up the stunt double. I don't like movie making. Or being tied to a chair. Stop mm. complaining, James. All you have to do is direct a beam of sunlight through this magnifying glass and burn through the rope like this. Simple, right? Action! Okay. Uh-oh! Uh -oh. Ah! Cut! Cut! I think we better call Fireman Sam! <laughs> well done, Elvis! Oh, yes. Well, well done, Cridlington. Always knew you could do it. <laughs> right, all clear, everyone. Back to the station. Well, I just hope that Mike does as well as me. Hello, Ponty Pandy! I'd like to introduce you to the new member of my band, the Strum Master 2000. There's a place I know where the people say hello Your new band member's not exactly Elvis, is he, Dad? He will be! Turn it all the way up, Joe! Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear Oh no! Elvis really wouldn't do it like that Someone needs to call Fireman Sam! Mike Flood's guitar machine has gone out of control and set the stage on fire. Mike Flood's guitar machine has gone out of control and set the stage on fire. Elvis, you and Ellie go in Jupiter. Penny, you and Arnold take Venus. I'll take Mercury. <laughs> Arnold, you get everyone to safety. Elvis, make sure the power's off. Penny, you help me tackle the blaze. Roger, Roger that, Sam. Power's off, Sam. I don't think the Strum Master 2000 will make it to his solo. Move back, everyone. Yes, you all need to be at least 5.5 metres further back for maximum safety. So sorry, my guitar machine caused a fire, Sam. Luckily, no one was hurt, Mike. Now, have you two got something you want to uh, say to each other? Let's get, get the, the band, band back, back together. together. <gasps> Yay! Yay! Juggling was great, but I missed your dubba dubba boof boof. And I missed your plang plang plangity plang. Wait a minute. I never played plang plang plangity plang. And I never played dubba dubba boof boof. Oh. I always played plang plang plangy ching. Well, I never heard a ching. And as for your blum blum blibbity blum, I played blum blum blibbity. Looks like we've done it, sir. And there's still some grit left. Marvellous. That old shaky, shaky, shaky method works like a word! <laughs> I'm fine! Good job we've got some grit left, sir. Shaky, shaky, Sam? Shaky, shaky, Ellie. Ah! That's it! 
I'm not playing with you anymore, Norman, or that silly penguin. Oh, <gasps> don't listen to him, Pengy. Come on, we'll show them. you. I told everyone you were a super penguin, and all you've done is make me fall over and look stupid. Derek's right. You are a silly penguin. <laughs> oh, me floodlight! Off the ice, everyone! I better call Fireman Sam. Norman Price is trapped on a burning ice rink with a penguin. Norman Price is trapped on a burning ice rink with a penguin. Did he say penguin? Come on, we'll take Jupiter. I think we're okay. The ice is melting uh, and the water will put out the fire. It's an electrical fire, Mike. Water just makes it more dangerous. What are we going to do, Sam? Ellie, you turn off the power. Arnold, you blast the fire with foam. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam. I'll get Norman. Calm, Norman. I'm on my way. Oh! Ah! Now look what you've done. My human Sam can't reach me. It's too stormy for Tom's helicopter. I'm calling the station. There's only one thing strong enough to move this tree. Will anyone find us, Grandad? Don't worry, James. I'm sure we'll be rescued soon. Okay, Phoenix. You can do this. Easy does it. Ah! Come on, Phoenix. Let's get out of here. Hold it there, Penny. Saturn is ready to launch some, and I'm ready to head into the mountains. Come in, Sam. So 
Martin has detected body heat just ahead of you. Over. Copy that, Elvis. Come in, Elvis. I found them and I'm bringing them down. Roger that, Sam. I'll bring Saturn back. But, uh, which way is the shoe? OK, now, no poses, no brave faces, nothing to hold. Just stand by Jupiter and be yourselves. All right, Sam. Looking great. Now, don't move. Taking it in three... To... Give me back my sausage! No! It's gonna... It's not gonna come back! <laughs> Where's Tom? The dinghy's gone! Why would he take the dinghy out in this weather? The tide's come in past where the boat was. Tom must have fallen asleep and floated out into the fog. Come on, kids! We need to call Fireman Sam! Tom is lost in the fog out at sea. Tom is lost in the fog out at sea. Sorry, volunteers. You'll have to take your own photo. Penny and Ben? Tom is lost. Get Neptune and Titan ready now. Roger that, Sam. Roger that, Sam. Elvis, you come with me. OK, Sam. Visibility will be limited. So half speed, and let's try the east of Pontypandy Island first. Over. Where are we going, Dad? We can help them find Tom. <laughs> Visibility is worse than I thought. And the current's quite strong. Boat engines. I'm here! Hello! I'm here! I'm, I'm over here! Nothing's coming up on radar. Tom's dinghy may be too small to show up. Just keep your eyes and ears open, everybody. They can't hear me. Oh! Hey! I'm over here! Hey! I'm over here! Hey! Whoa! What I give to be back in my helicopter? Well, this is intolerable. I'm going to have to move somewhere else. Quiddington, I need your help. I'm going to back up. Tell me when I need to stop. OK, sir. Keep going, sir. Keep going. It's... Ooh. What <gasps> Oh dear. Oh, that was totally brilliant! That's because you got to sit in the middle. Right then, who's next? Me, it is me! me it's me! Me, me, please! Okay then, room for two more. Move along now, please. Nothing to see here. <laughs> hey, Joe, Lizzie, come and have a look at this. <sighs> Whoop. Oh, it, it, yes. You stay there. Gently does it. Everything all right, yeah. sir. But what do you think, Crittington? Whoa! Oh, 
no! Fireworks! There's a fire! Ah! In the tent! Where they're keeping the fireworks! There's a fire in the tent where they're keeping the fireworks! That lot could go up like a rocket! There's a fire in the tent where they're keeping the fireworks! We need you back here now, Sam! Roger that, sir! Everyone, those fireworks could go off at any moment. Mike, what have you done? Oh, hello. Penny, you keep the firework boxes hose down. I'll tackle the rest of the fire. Mandy's posters. Ah! What time are they due back, Sam? Should be quite soon, Joe. I'll see if Penny's got a visual. Any sign, Penny? People are arriving to welcome them back. Still nothing, Sam. Hmm. I hope they're not in any trouble. Good girl. It must be Ben and Hannah. They are in trouble. An emergency flare has been fired from Pontypandy Island. An emergency flare has been fired from Pontypandy Island. Penny, get Neptune ready. Elvis is on his way. in the current. They're searching the island. But we're over here. Anything? Nothing, Penny. Sam, they're not on the island. They can't be far. You keep looking there, I'll go north. Hey! Over here! You don't think we're stuck out here, do you? No way. Not with Sam and the team looking for us. They'll find us. Told you! Uh, oh, no! Ah! Oh, no! Mandy's been turned into a bat! Be quiet, Norman Price! Sounds like she's a long way down. Call Fireman Sam! Mandy Flood is trapped in the caves. Looks like we're heading back to the mountains, Sam. Let's take Hydrus. <laughs> Whoa! 
What happened? We just heard a scream. Don't worry, I know these caves. Careful, Sam. This tunnel sometimes floods. It's really dangerous. Don't worry, Mandy. I'm coming down. Okay, Mandy. Here's some water. Oh, thanks, Penny. I slipped. But I think I'm okay. You're a long way down. What do you think, Penny? I can't carry her up. There's no room for us both to fit. We've got to find another way. What's that noise? What's going on down there? I can hear Station Officer Steele working on the handcart. Hmm. Oh, she'll be growing batty wings by now and hanging upside down. Poor Mandy Bat. Moose, is there a map of the caves? Yeah, right here. These are the caves. They go into the mountain this way. And the old mines go into the mountain this way. They get pretty close, just where Mandy is trapped. All ready to go, thanks to two experts. <laughs> it needs two drivers as well. Who's coming with me? You're the one who knows about emergency rescues, Norris. some thick, sticky mud. Roger that, sir. Tell Ellie to bring Phoenix and meet us there. It's an animal rescue, so we'll need you to come along too, Lizzie. Okay. And I'll need someone else. Arnold. Huh? Come on, let's go. Ellie, remember to turn your siren off so you don't scare the horse. Roger that, Sam. Turn me off! This is nothing like it is on the TV. Close as you can, Ellie. I'll get Norman to safety, and then we'll need to get the horse in the harness. Arnold, can you keep it calm? Me? You can do it, Arnold. <laughs> now, don't you worry about anything. Yeah. Don't worry, Norman. I've got you. Phoenix will get you out. Well, when I say Phoenix, technically speaking, it's a purpose-built 4x4 off-road vehicle. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm. That should do it. I said you were brilliant at fixing things. Mm-hmm. And I'll be the one to test it. <laughs> well done, James. It's driving really well. Uh, it may be driving really well, but I can't make it stop. The throttle's stuck. Oh, no. If we don't get it back, Uncle Sam won't have a birthday present. Quick, Hannah. Follow that fire engine. Whoa! Oh. Sam? <laughs> Sam? Sam? <laughs> Sam! Ah! What is it, Elvis? Don't you think we should go and help Fire Captain Steel? Great tangled hose! Are you sure you're okay, sir? Oh, yeah, yes, thank you, Sam. Oh, fine. Just relaxed. Oh! Ah! Apparently, he's fine. Careful, James! I'm trying to be careful! Ah! Oh, Sam is going to love his cake! Oh, my! Someone shrunk Jupiter! Ah! Catch this one. You haven't managed to catch one yet, Norman. If I don't catch this one, you can have my best propeller hat. Okay. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I was supposed to catch that. It's normally me that does that. Oh no, Mandy, throw them a life ring. Oh, uh, I'll get Ben. You can't, Norman. Dad says he's on Potty Pandy Island. I'll call Uncle Sam. Hooray! <laughs> well done, Sam. Oh no. Riddington. What are you doing? You're supposed to be cleaning Jupiter, not your foot. I know, sir, but I finished cleaning Jupiter. <laughs> Can I join in the smoke room training now, sir? Hmm. Wait a minute. There's some soot on Jupiter's bumper and her headlights. There will be no smoke room training for you, Credlington, until Jupiter is clean. Pristine and gleaming. Hmm. <laughs> Don't worry, Jupiter. I'll get you some clean water. <laughs> Ooh, here comes the new dragon. You stay there, Gareth. As I'm king of the dragons, I just want to add some last minute touches. <laughs> Once the king of dragons has a fire breathing dragon, I will be the greatest king ever. Ah, behold. My dragon! Wow! It's amazing! It's great! It's on fire! What? Wow! Huh? Oh. It is coming toward us! Oh! oh no! It's rolling towards the station! I think I better call. Fireman Sam! A fire-breathing dragon has set fire to Bessie's shed. That's a new one. A 
fire-breathing dragon has set fire to Bessie's shed. My Bessie's in that shed. Norman, what's this? Did your mom finally let you get a dog? No, this is Auntie Phyllis's dog. But if I can show my mom how good I am at looking after it, she might let me get my own dog. Ah! <laughs> All ready for a walk by the river? Oh, yes. I have my day trip bag, my handbag, and a bag from Phyllis filled with doggy supplies. <sighs> okay, we're back. Now watch this. Jump in. <laughs> Jump in. <laughs> in. Norman, when you're telling the dog what to do, you should use her name. So you say, Jump in. Uh. <laughs> what's that? Norman, I can't hear you. What's the dog's name? It's Lady Pufflepaws! Aw, oh, Mom, what did you say that for? <laughs> that name is so embarrassing! Okay, I've set up the new desk. Are you sure it's the one you want? It, it's very... Oh! Mike Flood here! Oh, hello, Charlie! A licky sump pump! Say no more, Charlie boy! I'm on my way! <laughs> Morning. What's going on here? Fire Captain Steele has gone to Newtown. He's left me in charge of sorting out his new desk. <gasps> uh, Penny, have you actually seen Fire Captain Steele's new desk? No. Why? <laughs> That's awesome! <laughs> it's really not. If you're stuck, give him a shout. He'll be there. 